All right, turning now to weather, and let's take a live look at our Catalina Island camera. You know, I know, uh, Danny, I heard about yeah. uh, maybe some fog or just like overcast skies. Yep, that's going to continue, Pat, but mm -hmm. it's not going to stick with us all day, but we are going to be waking up in the mornings, kind of dreary out there, closer to the beaches, even trying to push into the valleys. We're going to notice that tomorrow morning. And on top of that, we are going to notice a warming trend. Today, though, it was slightly cooler. And when we talk about this cooling trend, I mean, it's still warm out there, but compared to what we were dealing with earlier this week, it has been feeling better. I mean, we were in the 90s earlier this week in downtown Los Angeles. Today, 87. Now, that is still above average, just by 4 degrees. But by tomorrow, it is going to feel warmer for most of us. This next warming trend kicks into gear. Pat mentioned those clouds, a little bit of that fog. So by the coast, we're going to be dealing with low clouds, some fog. And it could be dense at times. And then we are going to be dealing with a toasty week. And our temperatures, they're going to be warming up like crazy again. Now, the good news is this next uh, warm-up isn't going to be as long. And it's not going to be as hot as it was earlier uh, this week. And then we are all turning cooler by next week. So we are going to see a nice change. Again, this is going to be short-lived, but once we get to the weekend, just in time for the weekend, we're talking triple-digit heat. It is back in the valleys. By tomorrow, we'll start to notice that, but Saturday will be the warmest day. 101 degrees on Saturday, down to 100 on Sunday, and we feel it in downtown Los Angeles. We're, we're flirting with the 90s again this weekend. That's the case for both Saturday and Sunday, but really for everyone, the warmest day of the weekend, it's going to be Saturday. This is when the heat is on. Now, going into tonight, we will start to notice overnight lows. They are already starting to climb a little bit, and that's the case in the high deserts, upper 70s. That's all we drop to in Lancaster. 70s are back in Santa Clarita. For the most part, though, L.A. County into Orange Counties, that's where we're dealing with overnights in the 60s. That's also the case in Ventura County. And then as we uh, see temperatures tomorrow afternoon, we're going to start to notice warmer days. And that's going to be the case in the Inland Empire. We're back to the triple digits in San Bernardino into Riverside. Close to 90 again in Pasadena into Burbank. 105 again in Lancaster. 70s continue at the beaches because of those clouds. Clouds 85 in downtown Los Angeles. And here's a look at those clouds. We'll time, up, time them out for you. You wake up Friday morning and you can see they're going to try to push their way into the San Gabriel Valley. So we've got clouds to kick off the day. And then once we get to the afternoon, yes, you see those green dots. We've got a chance for thunderstorms up in the mountains. And then everyone next week is going to trend cooler. And you can see that through LA Orange County. We get to Monday mid 80s and then we're down to 80 by next Thursday. So every day next week gets a bit cooler. A couple days in the triple digits in the valleys, but buckle up. We get to next week and everything feels better. Low 90s by Thursday and finally Pat in the Inland Empire. Triple digits stick with us until Sunday, but then we're down to the mid 90s by the middle of next week. So hey, good's coming by next week. Okay, we're going to take your word for it, Danny. Thank you. L.A., you can now catch CBS Mornings from 4 to 6. And if you didn't catch us then, we're back from 7 to 9. Four hours of CBS Mornings from 4 to 6 and 7 to 9. Everything your morning should be. Now you can get your KCAL News, weather, and live stream all in one place on the CBS News app. Download it free today.